This is Craig Halgard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. The corn market traded higher yesterday on extreme heat with slight chances for beneficial moisture ahead of the critical pollination period. The crop progress report showed a crop that had slipped by 2% from last week to stand at 71% good to excellent in yesterday's report. 10% of the crop is now silking. In the overnight trade, we were kind of undoing uh, much of what we did yesterday with the spot futures trading four cents lower as I record this. Soybeans were higher on hot and dry weather forecasts and gained additional strength from ongoing Chinese demand as the USDA announced the sale of 264,000 tons of soybeans to China for the current marketing year. The crop condition report was unchanged from last week at 71% good to excellent. 31% of the soybean crop is now blooming with 2% setting pods. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading down 3 cents. The wheat market traded higher yesterday on spillover strength from the row crops. The crop progress report indicated that 56% of the winter wheat crop is now harvested. That's right on the average five-year pace. The spring wheat crop condition actually improved by 1% from last week to a rating of 70% good to excellent. 63% of that spring wheat crop is now headed out. In the overnight trade, we have Chicago a penny lower, while Kansas City and Minneapolis are unchanged as I record this. Cotton futures continue to push higher, with the December futures finishing up 19 points, settling at 63 The condition of the cotton crop was up 2% for the week to a rating of 43% good to excellent. 47% of the crop is squaring with 13% setting bowls. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading 30 points lower. Livestock futures had a good start to the week. August live cattle futures ended the session up 70 cents, while August feeder cattle were dollar and 27 and a half cents higher at the closing bell. Lean hog futures were slightly higher, the August futures closing up seven and a half cents. Class 3 milk futures established yet another life of contract high, with July futures finishing up 28 points to settle at 23.25. Milk futures are still inverted, but the August futures closed some of the gap by closing up 69 points to settle at 21.64. We're trading four points higher in the overnight trade. Meat cutout values uh, were just a touch uh, weaker, I guess, to to start the week. We did have choice box beef two cents higher, closing at 205.46, but select boxes were $1.79 lower as they settled at 196.97. Pork carcass cutout values were $2.12 lower as they ended the day at $64.34 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.